Hey guys, this is Mike here. Uh, in today's video, uh, it's just a very, very short one. Um, and I recently, because I found a pretty good deal to get the Breeze X5, in case nobody knows what is this. I think this is one of the last Windows phone available. Uh, it's made in Japan, I think. Uh, yeah, it's made in China, but it's from a Japanese company. Uh, so yeah, it's made in China, but it's uh, a Japanese company itself. So basically, if you are looking at a uh, Windows phone, which is very cheap, I get it for 99 ringgit, which is equivalent to roughly around 20 odd USD, maybe. Yeah, it's pretty cheap. So what you have inside is like, um, you have the phone itself. The phone itself, and um, some styrofoam thingy. Uh, you have a big battery. It's a very big battery here. Um, and they have a silicone case charging cable and charger it's all in Japanese uh, it's made in China and uh, they even comes with a, a screen protector if you need one and it's thick there now uh, I need to actually get it out so yeah that's about what you have over here so let's just put it in and stuff okay the thing is about the phone right uh, it's not like a super nice phone or something but I feel that it's pretty decent size and um yeah i do miss windows phone uh, i use it for a while last time and even up to today i think um it's still still pretty good so if you are onto windows phone and you just want a budget budget windows phone um you can actually try this it's cheap it's a dual sim capabilities it's a micro sd card extension uh, yeah, although they don't have a lot of supported apps nowadays, so it might not be a good idea to use it if you are not into that. So, yeah, let's just boot it up and take a look. It boot up pretty easily though. So, uh, so the, the, the case itself, I think it can fit pretty well. Let's just see how that goes. Uh, a problem fitting this side, maybe I'll try the other side. Let's try the other way, which is from here, right? Yep, the case feels good. Okay, let's just wait for it to boot up. Okay, it's done. So ultimately, yep. Um, I on power on the other day. I think they still have. Uh, they still basically have a uh, update running, and um, for me, it's still running pretty good. Uh, yeah, it's, it's a very general Windows OS, Windows 10 OS. Uh, if you actually like Windows Phone, you can actually take a look at it. Whether um, you want to get one, and the price is pretty good, ninety nine bucks. Um, yep. So that's all I have for this phone. So ultimately. For you guys that actually wanted the Covia X Breeze, Covia Breeze, um, I'll leave a link down below where you can get one. It's pretty good. Um, the price is good. It's not a flagship phone or something, but if you need a backup phone, um, with low seam and stuff, right? I mean, it's pretty good. Um, some some actually bring this phone. Some of my friends actually bring um, small Windows phone out uh, for them to access a mobile hotspot when they're traveling. It's, um, it's good. Uh, easy to use. That's a uh, problem. And it's not going to be like if you get a cheap Android phone, the performance is not comparable. They, these are running pretty good, smooth and stuff, right? So, um, yeah, that's all I have for today. Guys, so if you have anything, please uh, leave a message down below and I'll get back to you guys. And thank you for watching. Hope to see you again soon. Bye.